What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And it's Sunday, which means it's time for Heels Hauls. And we got a good one. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we had another brawling brute week. And what I mean by that is we had banger after banger after banger. Okay, maybe that's a little bit exaggeration, but we did get some good gets this week. And it's brought to you by the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, which features a forward by Xavier Woods from the New Day, features photography by Matthew Goldberg, the AEW Jazzwares photographer. It has photos of every listing. I'm talking every elite, every basic, every ultimate, every AEW, you name it, it is in there. This is the modern edition, the 2010 to 2023. If you're a modern collector, I definitely suggest you get it. Now this week I picked up a lot of figures, Lucy's, and a couple of figures I needed. And this is one of them. This is the Target exclusive Hall of Champions Revival. Dash Wilder, Scott Dawson. Very cool. I love the boots here. This is the old style basics, which I love. Um, just fists. No flips, just fists, sorry. Um, the purple, which I love. The black, I like these better than the standard red, even though I feel like the standard red is the uh, definitive. Great head scans on these, much better than the AEW Jazz wears, so I wanted to get them. The Revival. This was also in one of the lots I picked up. The Usos. I love having all of the Uso figures. For a while, I was getting every single Uso set, and then I kind of stopped. But I kind of regret it because of the level that they got to and also the level of tattoos that they've gotten. Um, I just think it's really fun when you look at their early figures, each figure release gets more and more tattoos and it's very, very fun to see that evolution on an action figure. So I believe this is Jay right here. Play hard in the paint. They got these extra day one-ish sarongs on, I guess you'd say. They're not really sarongs, but I don't know what else to call them. Um, and Jimmy. Now, a couple years ago, I sold off a bunch of my basics just because I wanted to make room. And I sold them to my buddy, Kurt Lloyd, uh, for like two or three bucks each. And a couple of them I didn't really care about, but there was one set that I, I, I sold to him super cheap just because he wanted them and kind of regretted it after. And that was this set. Um, Sin Cara and Kalisto. The Sin Cara is like not minty as you can see. He's got a little mark on the chest, but it's okay. I'll take what I can get. But I love the orange on these, the orange and blue. It just really popped. And I love the feel of their figures. And also, I can't remember another figure in the Mattel line that had these C grips that the Sin Cara figures all had. And I don't know why they use these on Sin Cara all the time and not really anybody else. But I always liked these hands better. They looked like... Uh, like he's getting ready to fight. Like he's getting ready to clench a fist. And I always like them. Next up, I went to Walmart and they had this. The only one on the shelf, Series 132 Tamina. But this is the Chase edition. And I was like, you know what? It's a Chase. You never leave a Chase behind. That's one of my 10 figure commandments. Never leave a Chase behind. It's the green variant. And honestly, upon like close inspection, there's a lot of detail in this figure. And I will do an unboxing and check it out, but there's a lot going on here. And it's a great head scan. Um, so I think it was justified to pick this one up. Tamina hasn't had a figure in a long time and I don't know if she'll ever get an elite. So I'm happy we got it. On eBay for 15 bucks, I couldn't say no. I've been kind of backing off on Funko Pops, but 15 bucks. This is the Target Con exclusive uh, of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. WrestleMania 3 Funko Pop ring and figures. Come on. 
For 15 bucks, I couldn't say no to this. It's beat up on the box, but it's okay. You guys know I'm a loose Funko Pop collector unless it's a chase, so I had to pick this up. Um, I feel like that's definitive Hulk Hogan right there. Same thing with uh, uh, Andre the Giant, but we have both of them. So it's kind of like, you know, what are we going to do with them? But I couldn't say no. 15 bucks, couldn't say no. And another thing on warehouse deals for super cheap, I got this WWE Championship Showdown Series 14, the new Mankind Rock. And you're probably saying, why did you get those crappy basics? I know, basics suck, blah, 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 blah. Before the new ones come out, they really aren't very good. I get it. I know, I agree. They don't stand right. The elb, the uh, ankle articulation, there's a lot of stuff missing, right? But I am so enamored with this McFoley. And I'll tell you why. I'm not sure that we're ever going to get these parts again. Like, I'm just confused why they made this figure. I don't see us ever getting this head again. Why would they make an Elite with this head? I just don't see why they would do that. Why would they make an Ultimate with this head? I don't see why they would do it. It was like such a not common thing for him to be clean shaven under his mask. It's bizarre to me that they even made this head. Absolutely bizarre. So that intrigued me enough to get it. But then, the shirt. This isn't a shirt they can use on a suited figure. And he didn't wear a bow tie often. So it's like, man, they, they really like didn't spare any expenses on this pack. So I just don't understand it. I'm just, I basically bought this for the Mankind because I'm not sure if we'll ever get another Mattel clean shaven bow tie Mankind again. And I think the sculpt's pretty good. Plus, it's, I mean, this rock's great. But I got it for the Mankind. And the belt's great, too. But I got it for the Mankind. So, picked it up. It, it was pretty cheap. I forget. It was it was in the teens. Low teens. So, I was like, ah. Because it's beat up. It's got some bends in it. It's a little bit coming off the car. But I'm opening it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Warehouse deals. Great spot. Warehouse deals on Amazon.com. And I did order the Braun Breaker Series 104 on Amazon.com. And one of my orders came and they sent me a chase. Not only did they send me a chase, they sent me two chases. And on my next uh, $10 grab bags, mystery bags on whatnot, gonna have one of these chases in there cause I got two of them. And here's one that I'm keeping for my own collection. The yellow with the striping, all kinds of detail here. The prismatic title, I absolutely love it. Great likeness on Braun. Definitely better than his basic. Very excited to have this. Now. The next thing I'm going to show you, for me, is the best get of the week, but it's not going to be the last get of the week. It's something that I've wanted for a very, very, very long time. I picked up the LJN Heart Foundation figures. Now, I have a lot of LJNs from my childhood, as you can see down there. As a kid, I would go to the farmer's market with my dad, the flea market, it's called farmer's market, but it's really a flea market. Um, and every week we would go. And I swear to you for my entire childhood, childhood, I'm talking years and years and years, my dad and I would say, we're gonna get the heart foundation today. We're gonna get the heart foundation today. That was his thing. He would always try to like wish it into existence. And we'd go looking for the heart foundation at these tables, we'd never find them. And at this time in the 90s, pretty much, you can bank on at least five tables in the farmer's market having LJNs. And we were never able to get the Heart Foundation. I was able to get these for a pretty good deal based on the condition. They're not extremely mint, but they're more mint than ones I've seen. So I was like, I'm going to take them. Um, my definition of mint does not have this much paint loss at all. I acknowledge that. This is more paint loss than I would like, but... These are so scarce to come by, especially Neidhart with all of his fingers. And, you know, there's there's just so many factors with these figures for some reason that are, it's hard to find them in good condition. That this was good enough for me that I picked them up. And they came with the belts um, and they stand and they're shiny. So this I'm super excited about. There's a lot of sentimentality behind this. Bret Hart, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the Hart Foundation LJNs. And last but not least from Mattel Creations... Ordered on a Friday, 
right? Thursday? I forget what day. Wednesday? I don't remember. Two days later, so it had to be Wednesday because I got them on a Friday. Two days later, I got my official retro four pack. And the weird thing is the box was already ripped before I even opened it, which kind of stinks. It makes me want another one because I do love these boxes. Vader, Jerry Lawler, Paul Bearer, The Undertaker. There they are on the back. The line art, you know I love it. And we're going to talk about them. Who do we start? We'll start here. So we got Vader here. He's got like the Kevin Owens hands almost. Not exactly because they're a little bit modified. I think it's pretty good. Um, the head's a little off. To me, the head almost looks like Violent J from ICP without makeup on. Um, from like the 2000s, if you guys uh, are catching my reference here. It doesn't really look like uh, Vader. I think it's a little bit too thin, but still a cool figure. This is freaking awesome. I wish we got this in the real Hasbro line. I love the detail on the tights, the blue singlet. I love that it's a punching action. The punching action is back. The only figure in the retro line that has punching action is Roman Reigns. And now we have Jerry Lawler with it. I freaking love it. These have that like major bendy style slip cover instead of being um, fastened to the, the card by glue like blister which kind of bothers me a little bit. I would have rather it stayed that way for consistency, but I understand people like the ability to be able to take them out and then put them back in and you can have mint on card and loose all in one, but I wish they kept it true to the original style. Next up, we've got a hatless taker, which I love. We finally have a retro style taker that is hatless. He's got white eyes and the Phantom of the Opera mask. Very good head sculpt. The striped tie, very reminiscent. I love how the tie is like in two layers. Very reminiscent of his um, Jack's BCA. Purple gloves, you know I love purple. I really like this figure. And a figure we should have gotten the original Hasbro line. Paul Bear with the urn, he can hold it. My God, this is my favorite figure from the set. Two figures in this I think should have been in the Hasbro line. That's Jerry Lawler and Paul Bear. And I mean, if the Hasbro line continued on for a little bit longer, we probably could have got that Undertaker, probably could have got that Vader. So this is a very plausible set. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your favorite thing I picked up this week and your favorite thing you picked up this week. I love reading through what you guys get. I already know what I get. I love hearing what you get. So comment below, let me know what you picked up, how you're building your collection, how you're displaying it, all that stuff. This is part of the community. This is the fun stuff, right? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia and join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com and you will get $15 off your first purchase. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. This is such a great figure, man. Bravo to Mattel on this one. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.